Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about the Moonshine Manny Runners Up 2021 collection launching on Friday tomorrow. I'm really excited about this collection because this is the second year I've done it. And every month we have a Facebook group custom that is voted upon by you guys. And then one person in the Facebook group wins the poll and I work with that member to create a custom polish with them based on their inspiration image that they submitted for the group to vote on. Every month there's a winner but that means that there's also a runner-up and so for this collection in January, our first collection of 2022, I have polishes for you inspired by those runner-up images from the entire last year. So I'm going to be live swatching the new collection for you. You can see how it applies on my nails and how it looks as a full manicure. I'm also going to be going over the Project Dupe It polish for this month. If you're new to my brand, each month I release a Project Dupe It. This is a Moonshine Mani polish inspired by a mainstream, hard to get, hard to find lemming shade. These are usually polishes that have been discontinued, really, really hard to get your hands on, maybe high price on eBay. And these are things requested by you guys. So if there is a lemming that you've had for a while and I haven't done it yet, check the Project Dupe It collection and see, because I might have already done it. Um, but if there's something that you'd love to see, make sure and leave that in the comments of the post that is specifically for that in the Moonshine Mini Facebook group. So this month I took on OPI La Boheme and I have La Vida Loca for you. And so we're going to swatch that first, then we're going to get into the Runners Up 2021 collection. Those polishes are all going to be available tomorrow, January 14th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. At the very tail end of the video, I'm going to swatch two more things. I'm going to swatch the December Facebook group exclusive, which is actually only available through Monday, but I didn't have a chance in any of the other videos to swatch that for you, so I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to swatch the February polish pickup from Moonshine Manny inspired by Days of Our Lives. The February theme is 90s TV shows. And I don't think in this month there's going to be another video for me to swatch that for you. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in this video as well. So we have lots to talk about, lots to swatch. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, let's get started with Project Dupe It. So this month I have for you La Vida Loca. It's inspired by OPI La Boheme. This is a rich crimson wine base leaning plum packed with pink to red to gold to slightly green on the edges iridescent shimmer. The Inspiration Polish does have a shift through these shades, but it is more apparent in the bottle than on the nail, so I wanted to give a little bit stronger iridescent shift payoff from the shimmer. And I also wanted to do this shade this month to give a really beautiful garnet shade for any January birthstone lovers. This one would be a really great fit to wear for your January birth month. So here you see it in the studio lights and under artificial lighting. And then here you have a comparison with the inspiration polish. And here is a macro shot for you. So that's going to be available tomorrow along with the new collection. All right, let's start swatching the Runners Up 2021 collection, starting with Aspen's 2022 Sparkly Year. This is a blurple base packed with a rainbow of shimmery sparkle and copper hollow micro glitters. This was the runner up in July, and I created this polish in collaboration with Tammy. The submitted image is always going to be in the top right hand corner so you can see what the collaborator and I were designing off of. And this one turned out so cool. It's so sparkly. I did truly put a full rainbow of sparkly things in this blurple base with copper um, micro hollow glitter. So this one is beautiful. You're looking at just two coats there on my nails. Now we're going to move on to bring on the sprinkles. This is a polish I created with Kayla. And as you're going to see, we're going to kind of bebop around the year here. We're not going to go in any kind of order <laughs> other than alphabetical order. So you can see the inspiration image up there. We have green, orange, purple, white, black, and itty bitty little pink confetti sprinkles there and so Kayla and I made this topper that you can enjoy for Halloween or any time of the year if you would like to. I need to mention that each of these polishes just has one batch created and once that batch sells out they will retire on the website so just something to be aware of. So I'm just doing one coat of bring on the sprinkles over a few polishes in the collection and I will show you a macro shot over white so you can see all the individual components at the end. 
But yes, this is one of the two polishes that Kayla and I created together. So there you have it over the, the orange in this collection and over white. Next up, we're going to look at Everything She Does Is Magic. This is a polish I created with Brenda. And this polish is inspired by this mint snake you have up here. It is so, so cool. This is a neon mint snake. So Brenda and I created this neon minty green Crelly base. And everything she does is magic. Also has, uh, it's really packed with these iridescent flakies shifting through green, blue, gold, and purple. And it has black and iridescent glitters in a variety of shapes and sizes. So I'm going to swatch this for you in two coats. You're going to want two or three coats uh, for your full hand swatch. You could definitely put it over all about that base for some added opacity as well. So there you have that polish. That was from February last year. Next, alphabetically, we have Little Full, Lot of Sap, which is a quote from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This is a polish I created with Rachel based off of this image here, which came runner-up in November of this last year. So if this looks a little familiar to you, that's because you just barely voted on it. And as you can see, this is a pine green jelly base, and it is very densely packed with glitters in blue, green, and caramel. So again, two to three coats here, depending on your visible nail line. You could definitely wear an opacity boosting base coat, but this one was so fun, super packed with glitter. Next, we have Lumen Magic. This is a polish that I created with Jerry, and the inspiration image here is so cool. It almost looks like mixing polish because you can see that neon violet powder there with the iridescent kind of flaky, so we really wanted to make something that looked just like that. So Lumen Magic is a medium violet base, it is definitely a crelly finish. It's meant to be on the sheerer side, but you could definitely, again, build this up or wear an opacity boosting base coat. But Jerry and I liked how this looked a little more sheer. And the medium violet base is filled with sapphire shimmer and green to blue iridescent flakies. They're kind of green, blue, purple. And this was the runner up in March. The next polish in the collection is called Meow and Forevermore. And the inspiration image here is so, so cool. Look at that cat. It's just so interesting. So this was the runner-up polish for October. And this one is a rich cornflower blue glowing with sapphire shimmer and linear hollow platinum flakies, black shreds, and a mix of black hollow glitter. So we really wanted to make it look like those birds there those somewhat creepy but cool mystical magical birds were in your polish so this is a polish that i created with shelly and we both had such a blast with this one that shimmer glows really strong what a fun polish my camera was kind of freaking out on that macro shot as you could see next we have scoop there it is and this is the second polish that I created with Kayla. And this polish actually came runner up twice last year, two different months. It almost, almost made it to being made for that month's exclusive. And so that is why there are 11 polishes when you include the bonus polish in this collection and not 12 for like for the 12 months in the year. I absolutely love this image of this kind of bubblegum sherbet ice cream. It is so delicious looking. So Kayla wanted to make this kind of blue green bubblegum crelly filled with the colors that are in the polish in the glitters there. So this one turned out really fun. That is two coats of scoop. There it is on my nails. Next up we have Snow Sickle Glimmer and this polish was the runner up in January. So this was our first polish from last year and this is a soft snowy blue cream glowing with purple, blue, green, gold, iridescent shimmer and platinum flakies. We were really aiming at that middle color there in the top of, in the, excuse me, in the bottom of that inspiration image. And um, this is a polish that I created with Shayna, and it turned out so beautiful, so twinkly, and like kind of freshly fallen snow, if snow were slightly blue-gray. <laughs> this one was really fun. Next we have Take Me to the Tropics. 
This is a lush teal glowing with gold to green shimmer and red to gold iridescent flakies. I'm going to swatch this for you in two coats and my full hand swatch is going to be two coats as well. This is a polish I created with Tracy based upon this inspiration image here and this one turned out super super fun. The base of it is more of a true teal not as green I think as it's looking here but because it does have a lot of gold green shimmer it does pull it a little bit more gold green but we had a lot of fun playing with that inspiration image and the contrast of those two colors together super super fun so that's take me to the tropics and that was from August Next up, we have Tardily Awesome. This is a polish I created with Amy, and it's inspired by this beautiful image of all these citrus fruits. So delicious. Amy wanted to create this tart orange shade with Pinkie Pie Flakies, which are pink to orange, shifty iridescent flakies. And this was the runner-up image in May. And I think that I actually used two different flakies to get this exact shift in the uh, flakies that you see there. And I think it came out really, really nicely. I'm going to swatch it for you in two coats here. And then I have my full hand swatch for you as well. And I believe you're looking at three coats there on my nails on the left of Tardily Awesome. I can't not say it like that. Okay, so we are finally to our bonus add-on polish. This is the only polish that is not going to have one limited edition batch because Very Perry is the Pantone color of the year. I thought this would be fun for you to play with all year round if you would like to. I might not keep it all year, but I'm certainly going to keep it longer than the rest of the shades in this collection. And this polish is one that I created with Nicole based off of this image here, which was the runner up in December. So you just barely voted on this one. And this is the polish that you get for free through Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if you're ordering the full collection. So this polish is a periwinkle cream glowing with sapphire shimmer and iridescent flakes, red gold iridescent flakies, and gold hollow micro glitters. I'm going to swatch the December Facebook group exclusive right now. It actually retires on Monday but I didn't have another place to swatch it for you so I'm going to swatch it here. Ethan and I created this polish based off of this image up here and this is a white base Crelly and it is packed with red glitters. There's some hollow glitters in there. We have some dark brown glitters as well so this one is really really fun and crisp and it's on its way out. We have a new um, Facebook group custom coming for you for January in a couple weeks, but I wanted to make sure and share this one with you before it's gone. The final polish that I'm going to swatch for you today is called These Are the Days of Our Lives. This is my February polish pickup exclusive. And it is going to be available February 4th through 7th exclusively at the Polish Pickup website. So this polish is actually a combination of two of the most popular polishes from Black Friday. The Deep Sea Diva shade sold out super, super quickly. And then I had that um, teal or no teal topper. And this is a combination of those two without the glitter. So if you really like DC, Deep Sea Diva, this polish gives you the same vibe, but with the addition of those gold through orange through pink shifty flakies. So this one is really, really fun. The base um, is a blurple jelly base packed with jade hollow micro glitters, teal to violet iridescent shimmer, and iridescent flaky shifting through those colors that I named. The theme for the month is 90s TV, and I just had to do Days of Our Lives. Sending all of you all the good, healthy vibes, and I hope you managed to have a good weekend. I will see you guys back for another video very soon, and if you're coming to Swatch Fest on Saturday, that's going to be at our new temporary time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time that we're trying out this year, and we'll see how that goes for a couple months probably, and then we'll see if we want to switch back to our old time, but I'll see you at 9 a.m. Pacific if you want to come to Swatch Fest on Saturday. Okay, guys, I'll see you back later. Take care. Bye.